Let's take your Google Slides presentation and turn it into a video. Now, for this project, you're gonna need two things. The first is your slides up and ready to go. The second thing is you're gonna need a screen capture program. Now, you don't need something with a lot of bells and whistles, but you will need something that'll let you make some quick, easy edits so that you have a nice, polished video when it's all said and done. And for this project, I'm gonna recommend that you use Snagit. Snagit is a great screen capture tool that lets you create enhanced documents, presentations, instruction manuals, etc. It also lets you record whatever it is on your computer screen. So you can create videos. Again, very inexpensive, easy to use tool. You can download a free trial. I'll put a link in the description. And at the end of this project, decide if you want it or not. I use it every day in my content creation process. I think you're gonna love it. Here's how to set up your recording. In the Snagit Capture window, click the Video tab on the left-hand side. For selection, choose Window. Then click the gear icon and make sure Use Selected Window Size is chosen. For Share, we'll keep that at None, and we'll make sure that our webcam is off. We'll make sure that Preview and Editor is on, and that Capture Cursor is off. We're going to keep the microphone off in this case, because for my slides, the voiceover is baked right in. But if you want to record using your microphone and your voice, you're certainly welcome to turn this on. Now, since my voiceovers are baked in, we're going to make sure we're recording our system audio. And then we're going to click Capture. Next, select the area of the screen that you want to capture. This is going to initialize the recording and bring up the recording toolbar. Use this to confirm or change your recording settings. We can see here that I have the webcam off, system audio is set to record, and the microphone is turned off. Hit the red button to start recording. You'll see Snagit Countdown, and Snagit is now recording your computer screen. You can pause the recording at any time by clicking the pause button on this toolbar down here. Now you can start your slideshow. Here's a pro tip for you. Add a blank slide at the beginning and end of your slides so you can create a very polished final cut. Now use the keyboard arrows to progress through your slideshow as you normally would. Now you can. Thanks to I'm going to speed through this part and show you how to stop your recording once your slideshow is complete. Click the pause button on the Snagit toolbar, then click the blue button to stop the recording. We're almost done. We're going to make a couple quick edits to our video. Drag the playhead to the beginning and use the red and green tabs to select the section that you want to cut from the video. Then choose Cut. Do the same thing to the end of the recording. Finally, let's save our video. Select File, Save As. Now name your file and ensure type is MP4. Snagit will now create a video file and save it to the clips bin. From here, you can right click and choose Open File Location to find the file on your computer. This is the quickest process for creating videos using the Snagit Video Recorder. Now you have a video that's ready to upload, to share, to use as content for your business. Whatever you need to do with this video, it's ready to go. If you have questions on the process, leave them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you. If this was helpful, hit the like button and feel free to share in the comments a link to a video that you made with Snagit. That's it for this video. My name is Steve and I'll see you on the next Tech Talk.